Wow, this is beautiful. But I heard a dog. Let's see if the door is open. Good morning from Sarande, Albania. Found an amazing, amazing Airbnb. You should always check for the super host marker because every time there's a super host mark on the Airbnb, it's usually great and the hosts are amazing. So let me show you the view on my Airbnb. This is a deck that's open for everyone, but I'm, I think I'm only one here at the moment because it's out of season. Uh, the host told me that there were a couple of Finnish dudes, I, I think, uh, staying here for a month and they just left a few days ago. It's too bad. Would have been nice to meet and chat with them. So let me show you the view from the deck. So here's the place you can sit. And here's the place of the whole whole city basically. So today's plan I I think is to walk down there and walk all across there on the beach and check out the places what they have to offer and then maybe come back. But so far this city and this uh, Airbnb here is so nice that I'm really considering maybe coming back here after I've been to Greece and uh, spend some of my winter in here. But that's uh, in case the weather stays reasonable. I'm not sure how cold it is in here in December, for example. But uh, let's go out and see a few places. I'll, I'll make some videos on the way. Yep, let's go out. So here's my Airbnb. A bit of a mess as always when I unpack my stuff all over the place. A little place, but it has everything I need and the price isn't all that crazy. And now we're on the main beach. A lot of cocktail bars and restaurants all over the place. This is pretty quiet, even in the southern parts of Albania. The tourist season seems to be over. The beaches are almost completely empty. There are like few people here and there. As a Finnish person, the weather is perfect. It's, uh, my watch is saying 23 degrees, but my ass is saying 30, <laughs> because it's, uh, there's pretty much zero wind, so it feels really warm. Easily a swimming weather. Yeah, there's lots of hotels here. You can really see all over the bankment there. During the season, this is probably full of people. You can see there's these places for empty bottles and uh, the place is very, very, very clean complete, compared to Dures where I was, where it was really dirty for some reason. Holes in the sidewalk, trash absolutely everywhere. This place looks very nice. I could easily see myself staying here for a month, maybe two even. For me, this is like a perfect season to come here because I don't like when the place is fully packed and you can fit anywhere and even walking on the street is difficult. So it's really nice now. So far, so good. Albania for the win. The last trip I did in Finnish, and it's, <laughs> it's nicer to vlog in Finnish because people don't understand what you're saying. But in English, I, I have this constant feeling of people listening to me. But that's fine. I guess it's just something I have to get used to. But okay, my hand is getting really tired. So <laughs> I'm gonna stop this here. Notice that there is this really old Honda Goldwing just peeking out in there some, for some reason. I don't know why. 
with the camera I can get a better view at it. It does look a bit rough but kind of cool. Those old gold wings are just, just something I, I really like. An old gold wing as a cafe racer done well. That would be a nice second bike. Maybe someday. I know one guy in Rahe, Finland, who has a great looking one, but he's not selling it. <laughs> Back at the Airbnb. This is the life. Just one beer, because this place is so wonderful. Kind of have to. Nice place. But I did notice that most of the places are already closed. If you come here in November, there's probably not that many places open. The places that were open, there were like maybe a couple customers or, or even none. So it is getting quiet here. But I like it. I, I like the no, not so crowded cities. But later in the year, this might be a bit boring if nothing is open. Right now, it's still perfect. So I would say October is still fine to come here because it's starting to be at the end of, the o end of October. I actually, it's the 29th of October. So there's only a couple days left until it's November. So maybe early November is still okay because the weather here is still very nice. So I'll drink this beer alone. So bye. Okay, let's go. This is a sightseeing of Siranda. The host told me that the city is occupied by 35,000 people, like residents that permanently stay here. So it's not a big city out of the season. I'm a pretty bad tourist guide in these videos. <laughs> Even now I don't I know nothing about the castle that we are going into. But I guess everyone can Google it if they want to. I just know that it looks cool from the beach. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the castle. And there's a lighthouse here. Cool. Let's see that first. Oh, there's glass here. Fuck. Mm, people break bottles everywhere, so you have to be careful. Photo of the day, maybe. Oh, yeah. That is a nice view. Okay, let's go up, go up there. Okay, let's see if we can bike, uh, park this here. Hello. Is it open? Can I walk there? Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah, so I just realized it. Of course, it's Sunday as well. <laughs> I have no idea about the date, so yeah, Sunday. I'm not sure if the restaurant is open. It looks like this this old bunker is unreachable. Pretty ballsy cannons here. And some other equipment that I have no idea what it is. Oh, it is a cannon. Maybe this throws grenades or something. Can you see? I guess you can see something. Maybe a human has to turn a lever or, or something there for it to swivel. Yeah, I guess this is probably something you can pull. Very old machinery. Let's see the cannon here. Is the restaurant open there? I don't think so. Oh, it's Sunday. It seems so. that they start uh, preparing it. Oh, so it's opening at evening time, maybe? Maybe, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. Sometimes okay. there, you can ask. Okay, yeah, thanks. 
Well, this is a big one. <laughs> I, I know absolutely nothing about this. Oh, there's grooves, so it is high tech. It's not, look, you can see pretty big ones. Oh, there's some text also. I guess the ammunition is the size of my head or even bigger. Big lumps of steel. This is a smaller one here. There's some protection, so I guess whoever operates this is sitting or kneeling there and putting ammunition in. Because this side is protected. Is there any hit? Not that I can see of. Okay, the restaurant was actually open. I ate a decent penne bolognese. Thought I would, I would follow the TED just a bit to see the views and uh, get to ride a bit. It's weird, even after riding 5,000 kilometers, I still want to drive all the time. Like, I take one day off and I get a bit bored <laughs> but staying put I just want to ride more and more and more wow well, look at this view that looks a bit rocky up there but this is nice view there's some kind of a monastery up there from afar it looks like a, I can't ride that. I noticed the, I said I can't ride that. Paul Harris can, but. And trash everywhere. People, why? Just take your shit with you. I don't know what they're doing there. They're digging at the side of this mountain for something. I'm not sure, are they making roads or? Are they finding some precious materials there? I don't know. Maybe I'll just walk up there and see what's up there. Let's do it, because I don't think no car is going to drive here. The road was such, in such a bad condition. I can just leave my bike there. Oh, it's a, it's a workout to even climb. Look, well, I guess you can't see the bike anymore. But I do want to see what's up here, because no car is going to be able to come here. Well, that's a decent climb all the way. I have to take off my helmet and think about if, if I even want to go there. Oh, it's a kind of a workout. Wow, this is so, so long. Oh yeah, much easier without the helmet. There is electricity coming here. Let's hope it's a friendly monastery. Well, there's no signs you couldn't come here. Spider webs everywhere, so I think nobody's climbing this very frequently. Oh, let's see. There is a huge 
structure up here. Huge one. Yeah, you can see it. It's a badass climb to get up here. And this is definitely no tourist attraction. Let's just quickly check it out. Wow. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. But I heard a dog. Hope it's not loose. Or big. Wow. It's beautiful. Not sure if it's operational. But the door seems to be locked. There's a padlock on the door. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna disturb anyone. I'm not gonna speak much now. There's a basketball field up here. It's a bit broken, but still. And there's a big cross right, right there. Well, even I could dunk that. Let's see if there's any way we could get in. This is fantastic. I don't think we can. There's shit everywhere. I guess animals come here a lot. There is some kind of a barrel of water or something. So I guess people do maybe live here. I will have to check this place out on Wikipedia at some point. Let's see if the door is open. No, it's not. This was a cool place to see anyway. Absolutely stunning place. What a view in all the directions. And it's in such a good condition. It feels like I'm back hundreds of years. I still don't see anyone here. And if there was someone here, they probably would have heard me already. But there was that dog. That dog has an owner. Look at the view here. Wow. That's where I came from. Incredible. Unbelievable place, like going back into Middle Ages. But yeah, it is locked. Can't see anything through the door. dead end. I've heard some of these monasteries take visitors if you 
call them in advance and uh, offer some food for them and because sometimes I've heard uh, that they can't leave the monastery they can only leave by some certain very strict rules if there's a visitor coming they can sometimes pick up the visitor somewhere close by there's rules like that I don't want to say anything else because I'm stupid I don't know but I've just heard ah I said before that there's electricity coming here but it's broken I don't I don't oh well maybe it's from air to there and then it goes to the ground after that yeah probably oh I'm already lost <laughs> this is where I came from I think <laughs> no it isn't wait Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It took a turn here. Yeah. This is where I first noticed that place. Just a majestic place. Okay, let's go down and hope the bike is still there. Oh, this was a nice hike. And it, it did woke me up after that pasta meal. I feel like I don't need, need a nap now. Whew. That view to Siranda is really nice. Still can't see the bike. I am really, really considering changing the Tenere when I get back from this trip. Even though <laughs> I put so much money in the gear on that bike, but still, I would like for it to have like 50 kilograms less weight. It is big, a bit too heavy for me. It is nice on the longer trips and longer asphalt. Parts. and it's nice on the nice gravel roads it's no problem but I really do think that I would like to drive a lot more technical terrain a lot more than I can with that bike but it is a nice bike uh, if this suits your needs it is absolutely incredible bike and that engine that CP2 engine I must say that it is it is a peach I love the bike, but maybe if I have the money, I could buy something smaller just to have a second bike and keep this as a commuter and a, a long distance cruiser. But I'm gonna have a experience video about the Tenere when I get to some kind of a even number. Maybe 15,000 kilometers could be a nice number to make a video where I talk about my experience with this bike. So maybe subscribe to follow me and you can see that i hope you enjoyed that hike it was interesting to me at least so this was my day trip here in siranda albania tomorrow we try to get to greece with my interesting papers so let's see you tomorrow It's kind of surprising that there's more people outside now than uh, was on any other day that I was walking here. At night time people seem to wake up, I don't know, maybe it's some kind of holiday or something. Kids t seem to be dressing up like, uh, maybe it's Halloween, <laughs> I don't actually know. <laughs> I'm stupid like that. I don't know these things. But yeah, there's a lot more people outside looking like a busy Sunday evening here. Maybe it's normal that uh, people just go out on, on a Sunday. I'm not sure. The restaurants are full. There's a lot of people walking around here. I thought I would be coming here and uh, having a nice walk on an empty beach, but that's not happening. I guess this is my goodbye to this place, basically, because tomorrow morning we have to check out at 10 o'clock. So after that, I'm 
way to Greece so we are getting to the country that we're actually going but the final destination is Athens anyway so Greece is still not the final destination there's still some ways to go so maybe a couple of driving days maybe some trans euro trail fun stuff on the rest days but yeah let's say goodbye to this city and continue the next one and what's more interesting tomorrow morning is uh, do we get to greece with our papers so stay tuned as they say <laughs> we will see that on the next episode <laughs>